Ask Reddit by question Reddit asking. To the people that work at casinos or frequent them, what is the worst you have ever seen someone handle a loss? I worked at a horse track for 6 years. There was a high roller who lost a quarter million dollars in one day, he blew his brains out in one of our luxury suites. Oh man. Hope he's doing better now. Had a regular at the slots near my station. She gambled nightly. Worked as a teacher apparently. Once she finished her cash, she'd go find the man at the bars and come back and use his bankroll until the night ended and she'd go home with him. I only worked 5 nights a week so can't say she did it every day, but every day I worked she'd run out of money, and find a new man to take a loan from. It'd be ironic if she taught math probability. Saw a guy betting 1k a hand at Pali Gal. I was just walking past and it caught my attention. Stood by and watched him lose about 10k and he grabbed a chair threw it into the pit. Then continued grabbing the rest of the chair slamming them in the aisle and throwing them around. Cousin also works in cleaning up crime scenes and is constantly called to casinos to clean up suicides. Can confirm. Was a croupier for 4 years and watched so many people throw their lives away on the green felt. Then smash shot glasses until they couldn't stand and stagger out. Never seen again. Side note. I got on a job where I was heavily pressured by the owner to join his fantasy football pool. Guess what? He had it rigged so he had all the top picks. My response? I don't gamble, E2. He pressured me 5-6 more times to buy into his little scheme and had another co-worker try to sucker me into it as well. I saw a young guy, early 20s, sweating, looking absolutely sick to his stomach, horrified, mortified shocked, and stricken with fear all at the same time, while holding on to his girlfriend's, or maybe she was his wife, shoulders to keep her from collapsing, while she was sobbing like her heart was breaking, almost unable to talk but I could hear her choke out but you said you knew what you were doing and, 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 now what are we going to do through hysterical intakes of breath and near hyperventilation. They were all dressed up, ready for a long night at the tables. And it wasn't even 8pm yet and their night was over. I'm not sure how much he lost. Sounds like he lost everything they had and then some more that they didn't. Former blackjack table games dealer here. Honestly my scariest story comes from training. By and large the different departments don't interact with security much since they're watching us just us as much as they're watching the customers. But we were all in the same room during the hiring process to watch the normal you work here now videos. Got to chatting with one of them who told me they just learned the casino kept tanks of medical oxygen in the building. I asked why, they told me because slots players with oxygen tanks have been known to play until their air runs out and then they need help. I haven't touched a slot machine since. No one should touch them in the first place. They literally rigged digitally for you to lose. People say the same for table games but at least those odds, not good odds, but odds, are somewhat consistent and advertised. I work casino surveillance in Vegas. Not sure if I would say this is the worst but one of our regular high rollers has a habit of eating cards when he loses. Yes, literally eating cards. Tears them up and swallows. Not to mention throwing them and chips at dealers, cursing them out, etc. Grey day asshole. I'll guess and say this is at a baccarat table. I've seen guys tear up cards and throw them in the air like confetti after losing. Casino does nothing but move to dealing the next hand. Wouldn't say worst from an intensity scale, but a common enough take it bad that I see as people that just break down and cry. One memorable occurrence happened a couple months ago. At a small local casino, a mid-age, 40-50s, man was at same table as me. He needed money to complete his bet mid-game, so he pulled out more cash. He had to do that final buy in all in denominations of crumbled bills of $5 and $1 S. He was hoping to hit a straight on the final two cards, it did not come. He lost the bet and just broke into a full-on crying mode as he staggered backwards from the table. 
to his credit, he quickly collected himself and walked away. I see some casino employees go checking on him to see if he's okay, and it seems like they have a normal conversation. But that burst of raw emotion, I felt bad. What would even a casino staff say to the person in that situation? You okay? What's wrong? Come back on payday? Not actually the worst, but one time I saw a guy get so upset at his slot machine that he stood up, took his jacket off, and violently shoved it into the trash can. Returned to his slot machine and resumed playing. That's hilarious. Fuck you, jacket. Saw a kid threatening to jump off the top of the parking garage of the Plaza Casino in Las Vegas this year. That was pretty intense. Some guy in a robot costume, who sounded an awful lot like John DiMaggio, yelled out do a flip too. Horrible. I was just talking to a blackjack dealer about this today. A guy walked in through the exit doors where there was no metal detector. He pointed a gun at the dealer and took a bunch of purple and orange chips. A day later an older woman walks in and tries to cash out a few orange chips. The casino managers quickly put two and two together and have the older woman arrested. It turns out this was the guy's mother. And he now got her involved in his armed robbery. This was all because he lost a lot in the high rollers room. He thought he'd get away with a smash and grab. Same dealer tells about another guy who smashed and grabbed. He thought he was being slick by driving up to the casino in a car with the license plates removed. He also was wearing a covered mask. After the smash and grab, they look at and rewind surveillance video. The guy lost thousands in the high limit room too. Except he also had a player's card that he gave to the dealers two hours earlier. It had a picture of his face, name, and address. The police were waiting at his home when he arrived back home later. What could go wrong robbing a place with a gazillion cameras? My dad's will to work. My dad was probably 61 when this happened. He got a job at a casino as a janitor after losing his janitorial job at the college he cleaned for 15 plus years. He was going around with a cleaning cart and some jackass spit on him and threw his drink at my dad. My dad looked like Santa Claus and was a gentle human being. I've never seen him cry until he told me what happened. It was disgusting and I felt the rage of 10,000 warriors. He quit and retired with no money, lived off his savings he had and all of us kids helped him as much as we could. His health rapidly deteriorated and he passed away a few years later in 2013. I blame whoever that fucking prick was, working is what was keeping my dad going. Let's find this person and egg their house daily. In the casino I work at, Pali Gao is next to one of the baccarat tables. I'm dealing Pali Gao. But rare moment that nobody's at my table, so I'm watching back out of the corner of my eye. Dude is easily betting thousands a hand. After one last loss of what appeared to be 2k, he threw his drink on the baccarat dealer. I saw a Pali Gao dealer get a full pint of beer thrown at them one day. Dealer got hit good and it did a number on the chip tray as well. It was completely out of character for the player too. He had even won the progressive Pali Gao jackpot for close to $475,000 a week or two earlier. I'm assuming he was drunk and playing bigger than he did pre-jackpot but it was still surprising. Worked in a bookies for a few years. One of the regulars would come in and lose all his wage on horse racing every week. One of our cashiers was gossiping on a night out about him and telling everyone about his losses it got back to his wife where his money was actually going and she asked for a divorce. He came into the shop one day with a hammer looking for her, smashed in all our machines and furniture and left. Luckily she wasn't working that day but I think if she was he'd have killed her. A friend of one of my colleagues won several thousand dollars at the casino in Everett. It was garnished on the spot to pay some of the $15,000 of unpaid taxes he owed the state. He was extremely angered by this, assaulted some casino workers, and was arrested. The tax man always wins. I knew a girl whose mom would steal identities in order to fund her gambling addiction. 
the mom would eventually get caught and get slapped with restitution and probation. Eventually the mom stole her own daughter's identity, even though the child was only 17-18 years old. Took out hundreds of thousands of dollars in loans in my friend's name and others. Eventually the scheme collapsed and the last time my friend saw her mom was when she had to testify against her in criminal court in order to get her identity recovered and credit history restored. As this was her second or third strike and she had stolen huge amounts of money from my friend and others, mom got decades in prison. My stepmom also stole my identity as soon as she could. It's a bitch to fix and the emotional damage is somehow worse. To the people who work at casinos, give us the insider info about Bruno Mars. Deleted. Reading all these has made me realize I would break up with a guy if he developed a gambling habit. I see no appeal in games of chance where I am likely to lose money. It doesn't have to be like this. My brother and I have enjoyed casinos 2-3 times a year for over 20 years. You have a set amount of money you are willing to lose in a night and that is the fee you are willing to pay for your entertainment. When you lose that much you leave. It's not a big deal. Typically we go to dinner and a show with our wives then hit the casino at the end of the night so if you bust out early it's no biggie. Sometimes our wives join and sometimes they go to bed. We have 3 epic stories about going on heaters and winning tons, for us, and the antics that ensued that weekend with house money that totally make the many other times we lost what we were willing to lose totally worth it. Went on a Vegas weekend with a couple friends. First night buddy one was up something like $3000 playing blackjack. Over the rest of the weekend he lost about one stroke to that back but still finished the weekend up by a grand, or so. Buddy 2 and myself were each down about $500 on the weekend. We were fine with it, cost of a fun weekend in Vegas. Buddy 1, who was up over $1000 for the weekend, was absolutely miserable on the flight home. He couldn't get over his inability to just quit and pocket the $3k. I worked at a casino in customer service, and at least once a day someone would come to my desk crying about how they had lost their end money, grocery money, etc, etc and wanting me to give them a refund of the money they spend gambling. It was awful. The worst one was a man who spent his family's, wife, two kids, life savings gambling. He killed himself. So my story isn't a loss. I was in a casino late one night. I don't enjoy slot machines but wandered over to give one of those winner car ones a try. Beside me was an older lady playing. Well I pull the handle and sirens start going off. I look at my machine and am pretty sure I didn't win. I look at her and she is just sitting there annoyed. We are the only two there so I'm confused. Finally I ask her did you win she says yeah in this bothered annoyed tone. I am super excited for and tell her congratulations and then ask not to be nosy, but how much did you win she says 65 grand I got even more excited and told her that was amazing and I'm so happy for her. She responds, well it will take them the rest of the night to come verify and get the money for me. So I guess I'm done playing, doesn't even bring me even for the year, I just walked away quietly and EC. What's crazy is with leverage on options on Robin Hood and DraftKings all at the click of a button these instances are creeping into our homes. Yeah at least when sportsbook was illegal the threat of the guy at the Metro North station breaking your knees encouraged a natural stopping point. Yay, the amount of suicides don't get enough attention. I hear the radio commercials and remember, it's only a game. What a horrible way to phrase it considering the things us employees see. Not that long ago some dude jumped out a high floor at the Borgota. Not sure about the gambling part but that's a hell of a way to go. I worked at a casino in 2001. There was a degenerate gambler who would show with his wife at the slots. He had her keep playing for him while he went to the bathroom. She started betting the minimum, probably trying to save some money for the family. Welp, she hit the jackpot. Of course it was for much less because she had bet the minimum instead of maximum. When he came back and saw what she did he punched her dead in the face and she dropped like a ton of bricks. 
security pulled him out the casino while he was screaming and fighting. What a fucking idiot, those machines are completely randomized, so if she would have been betting at a different denomination she wouldn't have hit that jackpot. He should have been thanking her. Not the worst but a funny story. I was at the casino playing craps and not fully understanding it. I played $5 the pass line and a bit on the board. The board clears and I assume I'm done. It was a crowded table so I step away and go to the bathroom. I'm walking by the table 5 minutes later and I hear it's him. That's him right there in the blue shirt clearly about me. I look around like WTF and security guides me to the table. Apparently my $5 was still live on the pass line and I wound up winning $20 before they noticed I wasn't standing there. This is something I could see happening to me too, going to Vegas in a month and trying to get a grasp on the rules of the game before I go lol.